Hey guys, hope you saw my other video on Langchain and today I wanted to talk about one more interesting AI framework that is Llama Index. Llama Index, previously known as GPT Index, is a very well-known popular AI framework for building LLM powered applications. It is basically a data framework. It enhances AI applications by connecting LLMs with variety of data sources such as PDFs, databases, and also applications such as Slack, Notion, etc. So Llama Index has wide variety of integrations and connectors. And that's what makes Llama Index a better AI solution, AI framework solution compared to others. So basically Llama Index connects LLMs with external data efficiently. Apart from that, Llama Index has wide variety of features and let's see what are these features. So the first one is data ingestion. Llama Index can ingest data from over 160 uh, sources and formats, whether it is structured, unstructured and semi-structured. And the next one is indexing. So Llama Index can store and index data for different use cases. And the next one is querying, data querying. So it can orchestrate production LLM workflows over data, including prompt chains, rack, and agents. And uh, the next one is evaluation. So Llama Index can help developers evaluate the performance of their LLM applications with, uh, with a wide variety of modules that Llama Index has. And the next one is customization. So Llama Index allows developers to integrate domain specific data with large language models to create tailored solutions. So these are some of the features that Llama Index has. And uh, if you can see the diagram here, uh, this is an overview of how you can use Llama Index to build your LLM application. Uh, there is your data, there is user query, and there is a response from an LLM and uh, it helps you uh, with all the things that you need to build a robust uh, LLM application. So yeah, with, with all this, uh, in the next part of this uh, video, let's see a simple chat engine. Uh, let's build a simple chat engine using uh, Llama Index. Thanks. Hey guys, so here is a simple chat engine using Llama Index, uh, a simple tutorial. So I'm using single store notebooks feature here uh, to run my code. So if you guys are new to single store and if you guys don't know what is single store, it's, uh, it's a relational database company and uh, uh, it has some amazing cool features. It, it started supporting vector storage long back in 2017 itself. Yeah, you can also use single store as your vector database. It has this cool notebooks feature, integrated notebooks feature that you can use. And that's what I'm using to run this uh, simple uh, tutorial. You can just go to singlestore.com, sign up and start using notebooks feature and the database. Uh, it's uh, they have a, a single store has a free tier and uh, uh, it's, it's free forever. And uh, yeah, uh, once you create your uh, new notebook, uh, you will land here and then you can start with your um, with your code, running your code. So uh, this is a simple example of a chat engine using Llama Index. So, so first thing is first, uh, install Llama Index and the required libraries. I'm installing Llama Index. pip install Llama Index is um, the command. And then I'm going to download the data. Um, some publicly available data you can download any any data and uh, you will will mention our open ai api key and then we will load and build the index um, so we are, we are using a gpt4 model here and um, yeah we will next thing is we'll configure the chat engine uh, and then we can chat uh, with our data basically so we can ask any question and it's gonna answer back the response. 
so this is a very simple um, chat engine using llama index and uh, in the next part i'm going to show you one more uh, little advanced uh, um, uh, tutorial using llama index thanks hey guys so here is a simple example of building an ai agent using llama index uh, so the first things first you install the libraries required libraries llama index and open ai and uh, once you do that uh, we'll mention our open ai api key because we're going to use our model gpt4 and uh, we're going to define a tool retriever and that's also possible with uh, llama index and so we basically we're gonna uh, define tools as different wikipedia pages right so uh, the wiki titles are toronto seattle chicago uh, boston and houston uh, so and then we'll load the wiki documents and uh, we'll build query tool for each document and uh, we'll define tool retriever and uh, will load the data uh, load wikipedia pages from uh, different cities the cities we saw right and next thing is we'll build an agent that that can answer our query so basically the query is like right so uh, we are building an agent that can tell tell us about toronto okay and uh, we are calling the agent and asking the query right um, um uh, tell me about the parks in toronto so yeah, it's it's gonna answer back so basically you can build the same thing for different cities and uh, ask different uh, related uh, queries regarding that particular city so uh, this is how you can uh, easily build your custom ei agents using llama index thanks hey guys so i recently wrote uh, an article on uh, uh, multi-model rag uh, application using cloud 3 as uh, our model and uh, uh, llama index as uh, an ai framework and uh, single store as uh, uh, our vector database mm, so uh, the complete uh, code uh, i have provided here um, you you can go through this uh, particular tutorial i'm going to share the link in the uh, in the in the in the description or in the comments uh, so you can you can just see the power of llama index uh, while building your rag rag application uh, not just simple one even the advanced rag application okay so yeah i have i have, I have shown everything from how to install llama index how you can uh, index uh, into a you know, vector store and um, how you can query uh, testing the query and uh, and much more so i'm going to share the link and you can just go through this and uh, test yourself the power of llama index and uh, uh, and the rag create by creating a simple rag application thanks